probably the breakout feature of MPC software OS version 1.9 is independent track lengths. Now this works different than any MPC ever made. Every MPC made up to this point, every track had to be the same bar amount. You couldn't have an eight bar sequence with track one that's only one bar and so on. But now each track you use, you could specify its independent track length. Now at first I wasn't a big fan of getting independent track length in the MPC. However, there's a game changer with independent track lengths on the MPC that I'm not sure any other DAW or workstation has. I could be wrong, but that's the ability to set up your track's independent length in beats, not just bars. Let me just give you a for instance here. Let's say I just want this basically playing four times a bar. So I will have to tap that in through the duration of the whole two bar sequence if I want. I could just put that on one beat, have one event, and it'll keep looping that event as an independent track length. Let me show you where the independent track length is located from your hardware. You go here to LEN, short for length. You know, also from the software, you could go right here to length. So you'll see where it says sequence. That's what it's gonna default to is your sequence bar length. So to set the independent track length, let me just go here and it's just one beat. And you could see here on the grid, everything's broken down and you see that's just the one beat we have for this track. So just real quickly. And now you'll see when I play it back, just that one beat. So I'm gonna go to a different track here. So in this case, I'm actually gonna make it two beats. Beat I wanna, just a kick and a snare. Just a simple like four on the floor. So there it is, just playing the first two beats of that bar, just a quick kick snare. And it's looping that at a two beat independent track length in a two bar sequence. So let me just go ahead and let me append the sequence. So I'm gonna make the sequence longer, I'm gonna double it. So now our sequence is four bars. Let's say I have a pattern here with Just that quick little guitar pattern, which is two bars. So if I don't want to actually record that through the whole duration of the four bars, I could just go here and put the sequence length to two bars, which is eight beats. And here it goes. So even though my sequence is four bars, it's just repeating this two bars of the jazz guitar. So just to break everything down here, we have this simple kick and snare, which is just two beats. Two beats out of a four bar sequence. Then we have just our percussion, which is just one beat that keeps repeating. Moving on, we have a two bar guitar part, which has its own independent track length of eight beats. So the fact that they gave us independent track length in beats is really genius. And it opens up so many more possibilities than just being restricted to a bar amount. Being able to get in there and apply it just to one beat or two beats or three beats or so on, is really, really awesome. All right, so let me just show you an example one more time of using independent track length to build up your sequence. In this case, I'm gonna start off with a half a bar drum pattern, basically just. So let me just get in the record. And I'll stop there, it's good. Let me go here to length and I'll put it to two beats. Let's listen back. Let's do a track that's not an independent track length, one that is the whole two bars of the sequence. Just a quick crash symbol. So 
so you'll see that only comes in every two bars. Now one thing I should point out is that your independent track length cannot be longer than your sequence length. I'm going to continue on. I got this loop here. It's already locked to my tempo. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make this sequence eight bars. And instead of having to tap it in the whole eight bars or draw it in, let me just go ahead and tell it, put it in for eight beats, which is two bars. And there it goes. Already in there, already looping back because of its own independent track length of eight beats, which is two bars. However, the sequence is eight bars. So independent track lengths has brought us many different time-saving ways when it comes to programming in your rhythms. I dig the feature and I hope you dig the video.